Sam, what are you reading? Huh? What are you reading? Oh. I'm gonna look up. What's that it's, about? Uh, uh, basically, a meteor is coming to Earth and in like 66 point, you know, it's two thirds chance that the whole world may just end. Oh. Like all life on Earth. That's scary, does that not scary? What you got there? Today is my birthday. Oh, well, happy birthday. Those are fancy. So let's talk about the bell ringer before we get started. How would you identify an organism that you don't know? So who in here likes to hunt? Anybody? Jade, let's say you're in the woods. What if you like see this really pretty flower? Like would you maybe use your phone to take a picture of it? Yeah. Okay, so when you get back, how would you find out? What flower it is? Well, we'll do some research. Do some research. Anybody else? What would you do? Just Google it. Or there's a I can't say, but a key. A key. Yeah. So I'm going to teach you guys what kind of key that they actually use. So scientists will actually use what's called a dichotomous key. A dichotomous key. Have you guys learned about those before? There's actually ways that scientists, they make keys so we can identify things. I know that Josie Bird's dad is a forester and they actually use, um, they look at the bark, the type of a bark that's on the tree and they compare it and they contrast to actually identify what type of tree. They'll look at the leaves. So sometimes that can be hard though because like right now we're just now getting leaves. So we're going to learn um, about dichotomous keys. We'll watch a quick video. We're going to do some guided practice and then I'm going to give you an opportunity to make your own because that's going to show me that you really know what you're doing. Okay? Any questions? Um, actually, the notes will be kind of guided together, so you're good. We'll be good. Yep. So let me pass that out. By the way, it's Kelsey's birthday, so everybody should tell her happy birthday. Happy birthday, Kelsey Terry. Yeah. All right, so yesterday we learned about taxonomy. Do you guys remember that? Oh, it is King Philip, but it starts with a D. Dumb King Philip. No matter what, when we're identifying a new organism, we always go back to number one, step one. Do you have a backbone? Do you have a backbone? So we are going to identify species one here. Does a butterfly have a backbone? No. It doesn't. And so what do you notice about that, Sam? What does it say? No, you're in fact. Go to number two. It's like making macaroni and cheese. Do you guys make macaroni and cheese at home? Right. Does it turn out perfect every time? Mine doesn't for some reason. I, don't, I guess I'm not good at following directions. We're going to start again at number two. Um, so does a frog have a backbone? Um, it does. He's like, I've, I've messed with frogs, yes. And guys, I'm leaving those pictures up there for you in case you, so you don't have to keep flipping back and forth. Yeah, just write the name of it under the picture. Yeah. So let's, you do this one, number four. So we're going to start at number one. Does it have a backbone? Yeah. It does. So what are we going to do next? Get number three. Right. Does it have gills or scales? So we, sometimes it'll be something like maybe we misinterpret what we think we know about it. Yeah. And so if you see like how this one says you are a fish, well, yeah. that's definitely not a fish, is it? Yeah. So that means that we're probably wrong on what we think. So go to number four. All right. So here's what we're going to do is I'm going to pass this out. Now that you guys are professionals at identifying unknown organisms, you guys get to create your own, okay? And what we're going to do is it's going to be a group activity. So you're going to work in your group, so you only really need one iPad. And um, what you're going to do is you have to find 10 different pictures. And I would recommend it, try to keep it like around the same thing. So if you choose to do flowers, you would need to pick how many flowers? 10, right? Family. Ooh, is there 10 of them? No, we think. Yeah. We're going to invite to their kids or something. Yeah. Some of their kids. Oh, yeah. So I'm actually going to show you guys how to do it digitally. And oh. so you guys just kind of need to get your screenshots today, and tomorrow we're going to work on actually okay, making we, it. I already saved this. I'm going to teach you guys how to use um, some of the Apple apps uh -huh. that we use, and because um, I've been learning how to use them. And they're so we actually pretty cool. Because that would be a good, a good one, actually, because, you know, some people... You know, you could one of the traits that you could say, like, do they have side hair or not? Okay. And so that would be one category that could separate some of the men from others, right? Ooh, you guys are doing good. How many of you identified with what uh, you got? One, two, three, four. Four. Yeah. That's a really so, good like, start. All the white ones. 
Mm -hmm. And now we just got the colors. Do you like, is it red? Is it red? That separates that in half. Yep, that's good. Good. You guys are, uh, you guys have a great start. Good job.